Mm, well, joining me now here in the studio is Royston Smith, who's the chair of the Hampshire Fire Authority. Strong words there from the Police and Crime Commissioner, Hampshire Fire Authority, the fire authorities in general, on the way out. Well, I don't see that, of course. I, I'm, I'm sure that the fire authorities could be more efficient, and they are done differently throughout the country. Some are run by counties, some are run by fire authorities. But I don't think that's the issue here. The issue here is whether or not you can merge the governance and the rest of fire, police and ambulance, and I don't think that that's practical, and I don't think it will give up the savings that some people think it would. Uh, the savings could be found in back office, in procurement, in training, in things like that, but you would say, I suppose, that some of that is already happening. Where would you draw the line in going further and affecting the operational, uh, doing the same job, two different hats? There is more that can be done. We are already sharing procurement, HR, uh, occupational health with the Hampshire Police. Uh, the constabulary we're already doing that so we've started early we started making our savings early we're very efficient we've driven out those inefficiencies and we continue to do that but there is more that can be done and sharing premises is one way and we're doing that in Alsford and we're doing that in Redbridge in Southampton with the police and we could do work much more closely with the ambulance service we're already co-responding they mobilize our staff to co-respond on their behalf or with them so that's already happening that could go further but a full merger of police, fire and ambulance is impractical. OK, what about a vehicle going to a road traffic accident, which has representatives from all three services? Yeah. Well, that's the example that the Police and Crime Commissioner in Dorset gave, and I yeah. think that's probably the worst example he could have come up with. I'll give you any, uh, an example of how that would work. You send... Uh, you have a road traffic collision, you send the fire service to perhaps have to cut someone from their car, there's a casualty, that casualty then needs to be evacuated, that's two vehicles straight away. You then need to look after the traffic and the congestion that's caused by an, a an accident, you're probably almost certainly going to need another vehicle. You simply couldn't. I think in reality... He says it happens what, in other countries. In, in well, France, it doesn't do happen that. in other countries. There isn't another country that has police and fire merged in the developed world. There isn't another one. There isn't an example that he can cite. Mm. There are in some other places, but that's because of other things like security issues. But mm. there are no other police and fire that are merged across other countries. Your fire authority, though, needs to be more efficient, doesn't mm. it? It's costing uh, more money than it needs to. There are fewer fires than there used to be, and yes. it's now becoming all about prevention. It is. It is, and that's what we are spending most of our time doing. We're trying to prevent instances in the first place, and great examples of working doing that, putting sprinklers into new buildings, especially things like student accommodation and the rest. And that means we don't have to respond anything like the way we used to, 40% less mm. response than we did 10 years ago. Mm. There is an issue about what the cost of the fire service is when response is much lower, but then you have to take into account the amount of resource put into prevention. It's not just simply you don't respond as much as you used to do. That could be something done by local councils. I mean, it is in effect through the fire service, but it could be, you know, it, keeping these silos... Of Why the... would that be cheaper if the local councils were the ones that suggested you put sprinklers into buildings? I should mm. think that's the specialists in the fire service that would be the ones that you would want to talk to. Taking it from one department and giving it to another department does not in itself save any money. If you're both doing the same thing and there's duplication, it needs to be driven out. If there are ways where you can work more closely together, that absolutely needs to be done. But taking it from one and giving to another does not in itself make a saving. Right,